Morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to another day of the vlog. Here, today is a uh, going to be a big, big day on the bike. Uh, busy day, actually. On tap this morning is the fourth installment. I guess it's fifth, but uh, fourth real big one of uh, Project 360. So this workout, I changed it a little bit, so I actually have made it even more challenging than it was initially on paper. So as you recall last Saturday I did uh, 8 times 3 minutes at 367 average on 1 minute recovery and uh, this weekend I was going to be doing the 10 times 3 minutes at that wattage on 1 minute recovery but given the race on Thursday night um, I figure yes the 360 is a good number to have but um, what's not only important is not really just that, that threshold number. You know, it's being able to surge out of that threshold number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 10 times 3 minutes. But on the evens, so every other one, on the second one, on the fourth one, sixth one, eighth one, and tenth one, uh, after a minute and 20 seconds of... 360 watts, I'm going to do 10 seconds at 500. So it's really uh, 3 minutes at 360 really, but every minute and 20, so at the end of 90 seconds, um, it will be a 10 second long surge up to 500 watts. Um, and I so I did ones like this earlier where I was surging to 450, 480, somewhere in that range. I figure 500 is more, 500 plus actually, would be more uh, appropriate to what, or more representative of what goes on in some of these whip races. So, it'll be a tough workout, like I said, so it's 10 times 3 minutes on 1 minute recovery still, but now just every other one has, a, has two 10 second long surges in it up to 500 watts and then immediately back down to 360. So should be a hard workout and then there'll be a 30 minute run coming off the bike after that. Um, so we'll check in and see how things are going. Uh, it's gonna hurt. So he'll be, I mean that's 40 minutes straight of like very high end work. Uh, way like above threshold work 30 out of the 40 minutes so it'll be tough um but looking forward to the challenge because i figured the the eight times three minutes was too easy last week i shouldn't be dancing at the end of or like not dancing but i shouldn't be able to groove along to the music at that point in time eight intervals in it needs to be harder than that and yeah i think this 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 will do it for sure all right, check back in.
steady one. And then Whew. This one is is more just like legs feeling like they're gonna fall off kind of thing. But that was good. I think I could have actually, I don't know if I could have done two more. I could have done one more steady one. That's the thing. The ones at the, the ones at the 360 felt manageable because, and I was expecting that, right? Because last Last Saturday there, did eight of them consecutively, right? So I think I could have done one more steady one, but it's that one with the surge in it. It's, it's always interesting. I always find with those ones with surges, they're always interesting because it's not the surge that hurts, right? And, and if you've done over-unders, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's not the over that hurts. It's the second... And, and I'd say the 10 seconds after the over, that is incredibly painful because you've 
because obviously there's a lag in the aerobic system a little bit and so like your heart rate doesn't just jump immediately when you surge right it takes time it lags behind right the effort lags behind the aerobic stress lags behind the effort a little bit so ten, it's 10 seconds after that surge when you're trying to recover recover at 360 something watts right you're trying to recover at over six watts per kilogram that's when it hurts right when your heart rate is now at like 177 so nearing about threshold right about threshold a little bit above threshold inside at least outside my heart rate's much higher if you're wondering outside i'll i'll be consistently up in the 200 sometimes on on climbs i had one climb last year where it was I think the last like six minutes were over 200 beats per minute. My heart rate's just lower inside. I don't know why that is. Um, I'm not sure. I think there's a whole thing on that. I just can't remember off the top of my head the reason right now. It's something with the cooling or something. I don't know. I can't remember. But uh, anyways, it's so I don't know if I could have done another one of the overs. I could have done another steady. But man. It was good, it was a good stress and it felt, it really did feel like a race. So, I mean that's a great workout. Uh, great workout to do, for sure. Because like I said going in, it's not the steady watts. Like, uh, from analyzing these races, you gotta analyze them, you gotta learn from them, right, and get better. And from analyzing them, I have no trouble sticking in a pack, right? I have no trouble pushing over six up Box Hill or up the volcano, right? On both occasions, when I've got dropped, right, it's, it's where somebody puts in that 10 watt per kilo surge, right? That's, that's where I'm getting dropped, right? Off of the six, the 10 surge off of six, right? So that was a great workout. I'd call that more 10 times three minutes alternating one interval triathlon focus, one interval Zwift focus. Um, so anyways, that was a great workout. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I have a brick run to do after this, and then some strength, and then another Zwift race tonight. So, a big day for sure. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you like, hit that subscribe button. Really, really appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow.